You see, in the beginning, a lot of observers called it too little, too late, but they get in quieter by the day. I say it's a right mix, beautifully timed. The package actually between the central bank and the government has been unprecedented. It has a volume of 1.5% of GDP and comprises lots of instruments, which I believe will be very effective. So from the early responses of the stock market, you could clearly say it's been a big success mm. and it's been a very important move. Why am I saying that? Since beginning of the year, M1, which is a critical monetary aggregate, the monetary aggregate that comprises basically cash and uh, term deposit and uh, uh, demand deposit, uh, now this has been in negative territory for a while. And these moves now clearly give such a shift to liquidity in the market that we see a big boost. How do you make of the immediate short-term uh, excitement in the stock market vis-a-vis uh, -vis what China has as an aspiration for high quality growth and transformation of its economy? Of course, now it's a liquidity driven rally and it's been historic by proportions. I mean, one week with, uh, with a rally of 20%, that's, that's been a very, very rare thing to experience. But obviously, uh, they have to trickle down. Uh, it will be now a liquidity driven rally, which hopefully will be supported by the trickling down of that impact into growth, into long term economic impacts. This will be take a couple of months to really see it. And when you say high quality, it has to be a massive shift away from a real estate driven economy to a technologically led recovery and particularly clean tech led recovery.